I don't want to sound alarmist, but the US President Joe Biden has not been seen in a week. After insisting that only God Almighty could stop him contesting the next election, the president suddenly developed COVID and then just vanished from sight. Here's the last time the US president was seen last Wednesday. Now, four days after that, remember, no one has seen him. He announced via a tweet he would not contest the election. Now, rumours began to swirl. People wondered, was he forced out? Does he even know that he's dropped out? Is he even alive? Well, those questions were answered today. Kind of. Joe Biden, who's evidently not well enough to address the American people, managed to make a phone call to a Kamala Harris campaign event just when you thought American politics could not get any weirder. Julie, if I didn't have COVID, I'd be sitting there with you, standing there with you. I'm, I'm so proud of what you've all done. And, uh, but this COVID I'm going to keep me out of, out of people's hair for the next uh, three or four days. But I'm going to be on the road. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to, it's, it's, it's kept me away a little bit. But, you know, I want people to remember that what we have done has been incredible. And we get so much more we're going to get done. And so I want to say hello to Kamala. If she can hear me, I know she's going to be speaking shortly. And I want to say to the team, embrace her. She's the best. But was that a phone call or was it a recording? I only ask because Kamala Harris herself seemed unsure. Listen closely to what she says when she asks if that's the president on the, record, the call. It is so good to hear our president's voice. Joe, I know you're still on the, on the call and we've been talking every day. Um, you probably, you guys heard it from Doug's voice. We love Joe and Jill. We really do. They truly are like family to us. And we do, everybody here does. It's it's neutral. <laughs> You are still there. You're not going anywhere, Joe. Oh, I'm watching you, kid. <laughs> I'm watching you, kid. I love you. I love you, Joe. Caleb and Liz, we'll get to how weird Kamala Harris is in a moment, and we could talk all night about that, yes. but how weird is Joe Biden? I mean, where is he, and why can he make a phone call, but he can't come on a video or turn up himself? It's very, very strange. It, it, it looks for all the world like a coup. After this guy's... Quick timeline. After this guy's disastrous debate, where everyone was like, well, he's cooked, he's got to yeah. go, and he said, I wasn't feeling well, I was a bit jet-lagged... Um, etc. He said 20 plus times very emphatically, I'm going nowhere, the party elites aren't going to push me out. Then he suddenly comes down with COVID after the RNC has endorsed Donald Trump and nobody's seen or heard from him since. That recording there, if it even is a recording, we all know what they can do with AI these days and I would not put anything past the Democrats or indeed most people in politics. Uh, that is not proof of life. Where is he? Why can we not see him? How it, bizarre it is it, simply, though, that we, we want simply, proof of life? <laughs> it makes no sense. And then you've got the added fact that he resigned via Twitter, an account which people have laughed about uh, for the four years of his presidency, saying they know all these tweets don't come from Joe. The guy doesn't even know how to access the account, arguably. He's never actually tweeted in his life. It's always his staffers. Yeah. That resignation tweet was not even on White House letterhead. His signature, there's been questions raised about that because he never underlines his signature and this signature included an underlining squiggle and everyone was like, mm, wait a minute. His own staff and campaign people found out via X, <laughs> found out by that same tweet that he was stepping down. They had no idea he was resigning just last night. We played the clip of his campaign chair saying emphatically just hours before that tweet, he's going nowhere, he's staying in the race. And we're supposed to believe that despite the fact we still haven't seen him and they've done this ridiculous parody where, oh, he's just on a conference call, listen to his voice, um, that everything's A-OK. -okay. This is not normal. And the mainstream media would have you believe, oh, it's, it's normal, he's just got COVID, that's why no one can see him. Hello, 
we've had people on Sky News be home with COVID and chair shows. His name's Chris Kenny. Like, what a legend. Just because you have COVID doesn't mean you can't be seen. I mean, you may have it, but there's no reason why one of the most powerful men in the world cannot just live stream in using some sort of yeah. a camera and assure the world, I'm alive, this is me actually saying this, yes, I have dropped out, yes, I do endorse Kamala Harris. It, it just looks for all the world like a coup.